Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are here in the room, and this is chapter four. Now last time we saw the sides of this box that seem to have reset themselves. Maybe? No, because look, the pieces are filled in. Okay, uh, so let's just continue the way we used to do this. Now we started out looking this way, right? So start looking for what, everything we can interact with. So, ah. There's probably something slots in there, fine. Cool. I like the, the moving pattern there, it's very cool and these things move, but can we move, no, we can't move them ourselves, so this slide's fine, and that's something we can do in the beginning. Um, no, no, anything here? No. Anything here? No. This thing we saw, right? No, and this clearly looks like something has to slot in here into these, like, teeth, I guess, for lack of a better term. And there's more patterns here. Um, and there's a hole here, it looks like. Okay. Let's just quickly, while we see most of the table here, turn on... Oh. Interesting. But ultimately not very useful at the moment, because we can't rotate that center piece. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to, like, get a better look at the hole. Okay, so this is really the only thing we can move here, which is fine. All the way to the end, all the way to the end, the, pat the patterns line up, and we have a little crank. And note 7 of 7, August 15th, something is wrong. I followed the incantation to the very letter. Astroth did not appear. There are no answers to be had. More questions. The visions have increased. They gather to me, and I cannot stay in one place for long. I try to monitor them, but the lens hurts my eyes. I have mixed a solution for the pain. For those that follow and find this journal, I lack the power to describe this. There is no concept within the human sphere with which to explain it. The house is so much larger now. There are rooms everywhere. Okay, um, I vote we don't continue doing this then, but apparently we do. <laughs> Fine. Uh, let's crank. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming... Okay. Look, this is going to move out of the way, and then we're going to be able to... Well, I mean, it did it for us automatically, but that's exactly what I was going to say we would be able to do. Okay. A little flywheel here. Cool. With a button. And non est ad astra molis et teres vi. I do not remember much of my Latin, unfortunately. No? Worth a shot. Okay, let's hit the button. The wheel is spinning, so here we go, here we go. I don't remember the sword as this constellation. Come on. On the other hand, I do remember what this means. Now we get to use our, our eyepiece. Oh, and this is one of those... Can I? Yeah, I can. One of those, like, make the pattern fit puzzles. They're not really puzzles, though, are they? These are just kind of... There we go. They just kind of, like, make it fit. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay. Um... No, 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 no. It really is just a dagger, and I think... Is really only one, the only other thing that's useful to us. But also, look at the size of... Yeah, I get it. It's in the center. Look at the shape of the hole. Look at the shape of the blade. So, blade goes in the hole. Cool. And... Oh, okay, hold on. But this... Before that, this is cool. Mercury, Venus, uh, Earth, and Mars. Pre well, accurate. Earth's got its moon. Mars has uh, Phobos and Deimos, I think. Because those were Mars Mars's horses. The horses that pulled Mars's chariot. That's probably the best way of describing it. Uh, okay, but it's not moving. So this we saw, right? Two, two, two. We have this now. And I'm betting that this is how this is going to work. Ice. Do they all? Yeah, they do. There's like a red thing down there? Nope, stop it. What does the button normally do?
No, 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 no. Thank you very much. What is this usually? Oh. Makes it all red. Is this? Yeah, it's a reset button. That's what it is. Cool. Okay, let's push the button here. And we will be... The Eye. Cool. Oh, and we got another scene here. There's another code. And can we... Yeah, no, there's no way these are going to line up. Maybe? Hold on. Kind of looked maybe like it could. But very unlikely. Nope. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's put it in the new code. Luckily, that was part of it. There we go. That was it. Good code. Ooh, I, you know what I like? I like that it turns blue when it's a good code and red when it's a bad code. Aha! Much easier. Do that. Nice. We got a gold amulet. It isn't really gold. I mean, look, you can see the seam. Gold plated. Psh, thing. But... Look at those teeth. And we know where those teeth go. Here we go. And that's the teeth. Put this here. Rotates, and then... Oh. Look at that. Very cool. Um... Ridges mean... Yes, ridges mean we can... Ro oh, hold on. Right? That was, that was the way it was oriented. What if we do this now? We do anything? Do anything? No. What about... Maybe there's something? Whoa. Oh, okay. So, two corners. Center, center. No idea. Okay. What if we... What if we put it back the way it was? Corners. Worth a shot, right? So center, center, corners. That's what we saw on the one side. And on the other side we have... No, 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 no. Come here. This. Oh, it's blue. Look, it is a code. Cool. And... That's the null element. That's like the containment uh, device. Because we, we know that because it was sketched for us. The energy source harnessing the null element. Okay. And now we have... Oh, check that out. Okay, so we have another another thing we can look at with the eyepiece, and it has whatever the heck that symbol is. Let's just look at this real quick. Is there anything to interact with on here? No, we can just look at it. Be mesmerized by its power. No. Um... There's the code we used already, unless we want to use it again. Nope, it's not the code anymore. Okay, so let's look at this then. I beg your pardon. Oh great, we're in Stonehenge during a full moon. Fantastic. On a rune-filled table. Look, when you, when you can see it when, when the light shines off of it, sort of, right? That. Carvings. Okay, yeah, and there's something on this thing. Can we... Can. Oh, God. All right, line them up. Oh, over here. You know what I like? I like the impossible space that I'm seeing here. Because clearly this is... There is no way that these exist here. And yet... And yet, we got teleported to a Stonehenge on, on a full moon, so... So, you know. It is it is what it is. <laughs> uh, okay, so clearly wants the null element here, and we're looking at the thing. Wait, before we do that... Nope. Nope. Okay. What's gonna happen now? A door opens. It's the door. It's all good. All good. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress. Do you really think you've proven yourself yet? I mean, I'd like to think I've proven myself a little. 
Uh, okay, well, keeping with our sort of rule, I'm sorry this one was a little short. I think we're, we're this is shorter than last time, I think. Um, but, you know, one chapter per episode, so we finish this one off. Next time we'll come back, we'll... Looks like there's another chapter, right? Because otherwise it would tell me I'm done. Uh, or at least there would be some epilogue, but continue game is not is not what they would show you if uh, <laughs> if if I finished. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let me know that uh, I'm doing something right. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts, if you have ideas, if you think I'm overlooking something, or if you know at the end of this you want me to go on to room two, by all means leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case. I'll see you all next time. Ba-da-da, ba